All right, everybody, what's going on? This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13, and I want to show you my door panels today that I finished up rather recently and uh, should probably have cleaned them up a little bit for this video, but I think you're going to get the gist because this is, of course, my daily driver as well as my work truck. I can do a little picture overlay of what this door panel used to look like, or I can alternatively show you the rear door panels. So first and foremost, this is plastic, this is plastic, and this is plastic plastic and plastic is cheap and crappy and I hate it but you know what plastic can be upholstered fairly easily so this has a nice beautiful smooth vinyl upholstery which has a nice sensual sensation to it this is a black suede it's actually suede liner so there's eighth inch foam behind it so it's nice and padded and wonderful and this is that same black vinyl right here again just to give some textile happiness the suede complements the interior both the a pillars and the headliner are all in that black suede liner so it is consistent in that theme this vinyl carries through into this piece right here you can see that project is in another video this video is focusing just on the door panel and audio build so I chose to install the Sony three-way component setup for my car I really like the Sony ES components the three-way setup was just because I really wanted to kind of push my Myself. So the first component of that build was the A pillars. So this is nice and comfy suede. I took apart the tweeter of that three-way set and painted it the matching green. As for the mid-range, which is this guy right here, he's a three-inch, I believe. Originally, the car had a tweeter location right there. Of course, that wasn't good enough. I had to mount in that larger speaker there. And the way that I accomplished that was I did have to cut the actual steel of the door. And then I machined out a piece. PVC ring. I bonded that to the door itself and then everything got covered in sound deadener to make it uniform and the speaker could be mounted to that PVC ring. Now as far as this actual trim piece that you see here, that's a combination of a couple different things. I had to get some laser cut acrylic to get this shape just perfectly the way that I wanted it with a nice little eighth inch round over so it's nice and soft around that edge. I did take this all apart and paint the handles and instead of a red square right there it's now a green square and I got some metal mesh and did a pressed grill that goes in there as well and then I did this paint scheme which I'm pretty pleased with although I will admit I didn't do a very good job getting that corner to be nice as smooth as I would have preferred and then finally it comes down to the six and a half inch component down in the bottom here now I will admit this isn't exactly my favorite type of pod install but it's basically the best I could with what I was working with I didn't want to build a whole new door panel for a Hyundai what can I say I love my car, but I just don't think it's worth that amount of effort. So this is kind of a middle ground level fabrication technique that makes it look good and showcases it and lets me get the speaker in, which will give me the performance that I want. So this is the six and a half inch woofer from that three-way set. It is mounted in a three quarter inch PVC baffle that is covered in sound deadener. And due to the depth of this speaker and the location of it, basically I had to cut this big opening here and trim it out somehow and make it look semi-decent. So this is the result that I came with. As you can see, it does also have a matching grill material that is still pressed as well. So we've got some relief there and also a nice, beautiful matching green trim ring that has a three quarter inch round over on it. So overall it blends in, it looks fairly factory. That's basically the look that I'm going for on this car. It's something that people don't know is modified. This is wrapped in the same matching vinyl. That is the handle and that and this and that whole thing and you get the whole point so this is what it looks like on the other side when everything's all lined up now in the future this will be an amplified audio setup but currently right now it's just running passive so the crossovers are oh so not beautifully mounted just underneath the seat those are the wires running out there so that's definitely not permanent so don't judge me for that but my front door panels are officially complete which makes me super happy and that is a major step forward for me obviously if it needs to be said this is a significant audio improvement over the stock sound system and I look forward to the day when I'll finally get a DSP and amplifier to drive these things to their maximum potential but until then I'm pretty happy so tada that is my front speaker installation and door panel fabrication project for my 2020 Hyundai Kona EV this is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13 thank you so much for watching I shall talk to you later bye